So I want to pick up uh, with adding and subtracting rationals with two examples that are just a little bit more challenging. And there's nothing new here in concepts, but we just need to be careful about our factoring. So I'm going to factor the one on the left first. I have delta plus 5 on top, and on the bottom I have delta minus 3 and delta plus 1. Okay, And on the right side I have a delta minus 1 on top, and what is this? Uh, that looks like a delta minus 4 and a delta minus 3. Okay, so double check your factoring, make sure everything's good there. And if you notice, these denominators are not only uncommon, but each denominator is missing something that the other one has. So this uh, minus, the delta minus 3 is common, but the one on the left is missing delta minus 4, the one on the right is missing delta plus 1. So we need to now go through and do some work on each fraction separately. So I'm going to take this delta minus 3, delta plus 1 fraction, and I'm going to give it another factor of what? Well, it's the thing that's missing, delta minus 4, okay, over delta minus 4. That's my crazy one on the left. And on the right, let's, let's get that fraction down here, uh, delta minus 1 over delta minus 4, delta minus 3. And what's missing from the one on the right? It is a factor of, let's see, that looks like delta plus 1 that I need over here, delta plus 1, okay? And now you go through and you do your simplification, and um, you're not going to be doing much work with the bottom at the moment. Just keep that as delta minus 4, delta minus 3, and delta plus 1. Remember, do not multiply out the terms on the bottom. But on the top, we've got some work to do. I'm going to FOIL. Okay, I'm going to FOIL. Uh, you should know that by now. Okay, I'm just going to move on. Delta squared plus delta minus 20. That's the left fraction. And the right fraction is, well, that's just a difference of squares. That's very quick. Delta squared minus 1. Okay, well, there's some factoring to do. And before we even get to the factoring, we're going to need to combine some like terms. So I see two delta squareds total. Uh, there's only a single delta and minus 21. Okay, that's what I have up on top divided by, you know, all the stuff on the bottom, which hasn't changed. Uh, delta plus 1. Okay, so let me move this over here. And I want to talk about a big X briefly. I'm focusing on this, this term on the left here, and we have to factor that. It has a number in front of the x squared, so that means we have to be a little careful in how this works. Negative 21 times 2 is negative 42, and the middle term is 1. So what two numbers multiply to negative 42, but they add up to 1? That one, I think, is not too bad. That's negative 7 and 6. So this becomes um, x minus 7 over 2 and x plus 6 over 2. I say the over 2 because that was the number that was right in front there. Okay, now, if you can simplify them, great. This is x plus 3. If you can't simplify them, you move the denominator over in front of the x. And there's the trick. It's 2x minus 7 over x plus 3. And I'm just double-checking the factoring to make sure I didn't goof up there. I did goof up. Look at that. That's exciting. Okay, what did I do wrong? This is a great lesson. I checked this, and if you multiply it out, you're going to get 2x squared um, minus x minus 21. So what do you do when you screw up the factoring? Well, all I'm off by is this little negative sign right there. See, that's supposed to be a positive. So here's the quick fix. If you're off by just a single negative sign, the fix is easy. Change the signs inside the parentheses. Okay, 2x plus 7 and x minus 3. That will take care of it. Okay, now uh, let's come back over here and put our factored form uh, back in this equation, 2 delta plus 7 and delta minus 3 divided by delta minus 4 and delta minus 3 and delta plus 1. Okay, and now you see we can factor out that term pretty easily and we get our final answer, which is... 2 delta plus 7 
and nothing there. Oh, yeah. And it's over, uh, let's see, delta minus 4 and delta plus 1. That is our final answer. Okay, this video is getting kind of long, so we're going to save that other problem for the next one.